another clip to play here. This is taken from, of course, where else? But the Find the Kids subreddit. Um, thank you, those guys there for uploading this. Very interesting clip. This features Luis J. Gomez, who now confirms that he has tried to reach out to Brendan Schaub to try to get him on Legion of the Skanks. Imagine that. After they got Brian Callen on there and they fumbled it and it was a bit of a nothing burger, they're now trying to go after Brendan Schaub in an effort to, I guess, boost their numbers, embarrass him, um, you know, whatever they're going to do. So this is Luis J. Gomez talking about it on his pod, I'm assuming. Bob and uh, Brian Callen yesterday. So would you guys, do you, would you guys, if we did a crossover, LOS fighter and the kid, would that be something that people would want to see? I think so. I think it'd be fun. I think there's a, you know, a, 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 look, if Schaub can come in and just be a fucking ball buster and just take his licks and fuck and like fuck around, because that's what Whitney did. That's what Callan did. Yeah. Um, I I think our audience was super receptive to it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I, no, there's more money. Brendan, yeah, he does. I just I I spoke to him. We spoke on the phone. I never spoken to him on the phone before. Really? Yeah, yeah. So he's what did he say? So what do you mean? He was just like he was essentially like he was like yo, I thought you hated me. So you know, and I was like I was like bro, and I was like I don't fucking. Know. I guess it's taken from his from his Twitch stream. I'm assuming. I guess he's on Twitch. Tell you, um, yeah. he was like, you know, so and then I guess like Bert told him he should like talk to me. About- I think Lewis is talking to some maybe fans probably, or maybe whoever he's playing on the game. Maybe he's talking to him through the game or through Discord. Uh, some random, some uh, some other shit having nothing to do with um, the podcast. But then we spoke and we talked about maybe doing a show. And he was like, I think you're, you know, I'm not sure your audience would like me. And I was like, yo, first of all, my audience would love the- if you just came on yeah. and fucking f- like we're like real. Our audience would love it. Yeah. Our audience would fucking yeah. love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, the problem is, I think a lot of a lot of LA comedians, a lot of LA comedians, I think they look at it like they don't understand. Like, what's funny is being a loser. It's not funny being like like like. There's nothing funny about Brendan Shaw knocking out Crow Cop. It's hilarious watching get knocked out by fucking um. What's his name? Anyway, you get the point. You get the point, right? Um, clearly he wants to get Brendan on there in the same vein that he got Brian Callen, and then I guess he echoed the thoughts, um, even more so in his Instagram stories with this following screenshot that says the following here. Somebody asked a question on Instagram. Um, lots of fun stuff happening. Gas guns, new special. Ask me anything, and somebody asked him a question. You're the fucking man, bro. Here's a question: Would you have Brendan Shaw on rap and Legion of Skanks? And um, Luis J. Gomez replies, I actually spoke with Brendan Shaw very recently. We're trying to do an LOS T Fat K crossover episode. Stay tuned. Um, personally, for me, um, this will be a nothing burger. I think if you're out there trying to, you know, eagerly anticipating this and wishing this happens, it's going to be a monumental thing. I think you should temper your expectations. One thing we know about Luis J. Gomez is that he's desperate to get back into Joe Rogan's good graces. For whatever reason, Joe Rogan doesn't like him. He's okay with Big Joe Okerson. He's fine with Dave Smith. He follows all them. Um, the, the comedy flipping mothership follows both of those guys. But for some reason, he doesn't fuck with Luis J. Gomez. And it's funny because I think one time one of them, I think maybe Big J said something like, oh yeah, I'm going to bring Luis. And I think on a stream or something, and Joe was very unenthusiastic. He just doesn't like the guy whatsoever. And I think he's trying to get himself back in Joe Rogan's good graces by obviously trying to be pally pally with Brendan again. He he probably thinks that's the only way that Joe's ever going to maybe change his mind on him and have him back on the show as a solo guest or have him back on the show overall or just maybe just be his friend. That's definitely, I feel like, what he's trying to do. If not the case, then the reason why I think it's going to be a nothing burger is because if you remember the Callan one, there was loads of expectation on it. Then when it came for Callan being on there, it seemed like all those guys were just starstruck, especially flipping Luis J. Gomez. He was really hammering it up in terms of laughing and trying to force a connection with Brian Callan. It was just a bizarre thing. You saw, you know, how flipping, how all of them, for the most part, whenever they get confronted with those guys who are close to Rogan and been at LA scene, they kind of, you know, acquiesce and become really timid and become really shy, really cringe very quickly. So, I don't really think it's going to be anything great. And I think if you're Brendan, you probably don't go any either because they're definitely going to, you know, they're definitely going to be laughing at you, not with you. So it probably isn't for the best if you go there and ridicule yourself and provide the internet with even more cannon fodder to go after you. So 
I think it's all really mute and sort of kind of lame. And again, just exposes how flipping, you know, conniving and slimy all these guys are in that scene, man. Just doesn't make any sense. One moment they're cussing him out. Next moment they want to get him on the show, try and be pally pally just so they can get flipping Rogan back on their backs. Flipping weird.